there I was, flying over the Atlantic Ocean at 45,000 feet en route to London, wondering if my Windows 8.1 tablet was really taking advantage of the power efficiency that Windows 8.1 has to offer. I mean, am I getting the maximum battery life? And if I'm not, what could I tweak? What could I change in order to do that? How efficiently is my device making use of that battery? Can I squeeze additional hours of battery life on a long flight like this? In this particular micro nugget, we're going to look at the Power CFG utility. The Power Config utility is something that we looked at in our supporting Windows 8.1 course, but let's dig a little deeper and see a powerful little known feature that it can provide us. So all you need to do in order to get this detailed power report is to first do a search for your command prompt. You can just do a find and do CMD. When you see the command prompt, right click that option and choose run as an administrator. So we are in the administrator privilege mode with our command prompt. Next, we're going to go ahead and type the power CFG utility. So that's power CFG. Add a space and say hyphen energy. Now this is your energy report. Where are you going to put that energy report? To specify say hyphen output, and then we're going to give the full path a name. So I'll say C colon backslash the temp folder backslash, and I'll just call mine power, if I can spell power report. And this is an HTML file, give it an HTML extension. We say enter and it says, okay, we're going to trace for 60 seconds. We're going to be observe the power behavior on your system and then we'll create the report for you. I'll be back in that 60 seconds so we can take a look at the report. Okay, the time has elapsed and you can see we immediately get some information. It says your ef uh, energy efficiency problems were found, my goodness. 13 errors, 18 warnings, and 25 informational messages have been generated in the report. It reminds us of where that report can be found. Let's go see the details of this energy report. Here I have navigated to that C colon backslash temp folder, and I notice how much my name looks like PowerPoint. <laughs> but no, it's Power Report. There is the Power Report we had generated. Let's double click to open this particular HTML document in Google's Chrome. You'll probably want to print your power efficiency diagnostics report because all of the great information that it contains, some you might have to do some additional research on. Notice that we have some devices, some processes that are refusing to allow this particular system to enter its sleep state particularly Windows Media Player and a USB audio device that are preventing this machine from going to sleep. Also, some USB devices that are not going into a selective suspend state, so they're utilizing energy from this device. If we scroll down and look at some of the sample warnings, we see a very interesting one that says, hey, look, this camrecorder.exe is really utilizing your processor in a, in a high manner. So <laughs> this is obviously because I am recording a video right now in this particular machine, but isn't that great? We get information about what's hitting the CPU very significantly, and that could help us in an event. We want to turn off those particular processes so that we have much more battery life great stuff. So all kinds of interesting report information here that can really help you squeeze the very most out of a battery on your system. A lot more for you to look at and I'll go ahead and allow you to check that over on your own power efficiency diagnostics report that you know how to run. Remember to review, we're going to launch the command prompt in our administrative mode. So we're going to right click and choose run as administrator on our command prompt. And then we are going to utilize the power CFG utility. The exact syntax you're going to want to use, I'm sure you're going to want to write this down right now, is power CFG. And then we're going to go hyphen energy, hyphen output. 
and then just go ahead and give your path. So I did C colon temp, for example, and then, you know, ABC is your name dot HTML. So there you go. Very, very simple to get this power efficiency diagnostics report from a Windows system and start really tuning the way in which power is consumed on your particular portable machine. This is obviously most relevant with our portable devices where we are so often relying on that critical battery power. I sure hope this micro nugget has been informative for you and I'd like to thank you for viewing.